Hey guys, how's it all going? This video is about my 2017 Sportsman 570 SP. I've had that thing now for over six months as I made that video that I, about it, ownership there. And you, you may have noticed in the last few videos or maybe even from right from the start, I kind of talked about how it was underpowered. Um, I've recently had the tune put on it and I paid $450 to have the tune, which takes all the limiters off of it. And I've had that done. And right after that, I took, uh, I had my buddy come over with his 2019 570 and I jumped on it and I was instantly disappointed. Uh, later on, him and I went for a ride a couple weeks later and last week or a little more than that, he suggested I get a compression test. So I ordered one off Amazon. Um, it came in and, um, I did a long ride and I came home and I did what's called a hot static uh, compression test. So the engine was hot and static meaning it's off. Obviously it's not moving. It's not running. Um, I pulled the plug and I did a st hot static test and it pops up at exactly 90 PSI. It's supposed to be around anywhere from 120 to 125. So I called uh, Deerhaven. Um, which is a dealership in Belleville, Ontario. And I called them up, talked to the parts guy, or the, not parts, sorry, service, and I asked him straight up. I said, you know, I did a hot static, um, 90 PSI, is that bad? He said, yes. So I have a couple of different options for that. Um, option, worst case scenario, I need to do piston and rings. If that's the case, I'm doing seals, uh, gaskets, I'm upgrading the water pump, blah, 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 blah. And he said, well, if you're gonna go that route, you are better off ordering a CV Tech um, rebuilt, upgraded engine. Uh, they upgrade everything and they give you $1,000 for your core. And so it's, a lot, I think he said it's around four grand, um, but it also comes with a one year warranty. So I owe, quite a bit still on my bike um and i i overpaid for it i'm pretty upset about that since i found that out but i in owning this bike for six months i have put um 91 hours roughly a little bit more than that i'm basing this off the video that i did uh, about the voltage regulator those kilometers and hours that are on it that's what i'm going by so i know it's off a little bit but i did roughly 91 hours and 1,463 kilometers or just a little over 909 miles. And now there's no way in the world I lost all that pressure because I've, I've been saying to the guys at uh, Bonner Marine slash Powell Power Sports from day one, that thing felt underpowered and I could have sworn my 04 600 twin had more power. And they're like, really? And nobody ever bothered to check it. So now that I have, now that I know, um, my buddy... Uh, that I was out riding with the one with 29, he said that's exactly why he doesn't like Polaris. Even though he's bought a 570, he's actually selling it. That, that last time I looked at his bike, he's got 66 hours on it, and he wants to get rid of it. Um, and he said that's just it. Like my bike has just a little over 6,000 kilometers on it now since I've owned it. Um, it's got 264 hours, I think, and I'm already talking about an engine rebuild. Uh, hopefully, it's just a valve adjustment which still is going to cost me four or $500. I got to buy shims and, you know, it's going to take a couple hours for them to um, uh, down pressure it, like pressure the system and, and, you know, down pressure it, find out where the leak is. Hopefully it's not on the piston side. Um, it's not using any oil at all. It's just down on power. So it, it not using oil means that I, like, I don't have any oil leaks in it at all. So I'm not having blown out any seals. And if I, so I was hoping that, you know, with the back pressure, if it was going past the piston, it would show there. Um, and because it's not going past the valves, that means the valve seats are still good, but maybe the valves are just out of, you know, alignment. And I'm, that's what I'm really hoping for. Now, it's going to be a couple, three weeks before I can get in in Polaris and find out actually what's going on with it. But I will keep you guys apprised. As it is right now, I've owned my bike for six months, just a little over, with 91 hours on it. Um... Uh, you know, 1,400 kilometers, 900 miles, and I'm already talking about rebuilding my motor. I don't even know what to say, guys. 
I'm just sitting here right now waiting for my mechanic to show up. Um, I got a squeaky brake pad or brakes. I might have a bad caliper. But anyway, with that being said, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to my channel like always. Hope you guys like my videos. Hope you find, find these somewhat informative, even though this is just a story about ownership. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Like, share, comment, and hit the notification for all my other videos. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, like I said before. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.